Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to take a look how to program in Curtis 1212P controller that actually this process works for many many models of uh, Curtis controllers and we will take a look how we can make an FTDI uh, TTL board and how to turn this as USB programmer for Curtis and that way we will be able to see live data, check the errors, etc. The two things we are going to need is one, of course, a genuine um, FTDI board, the FT232 and uh, if you buy from a, um, a reputable dealer or a spark fan or something like that you will most likely get a genuine uh, FTDI chip. I have replaced mine and as it was of course uh, fake and not authentic. I've replaced it. If you haven't seen the video link up there, check it how I replaced that IC using just my soldering iron. And we will need to program it from in order uh, to be seen from the computer as a um, Curtis control uh, programmer and finally download the application and get connected with the controller the second thing we will need is a 4 pin Molex connector I sourced mine from a broken ATX power supply this is the CPU uh, the, or the motherboard 12 volt connection so I cut one off and used that one for the serial communication in my case I have all my cables on it and let's take a look at the program so first of all we need to connect our FT232 module to our USB port and we can see by right clicking on the windows button and selecting device manager that our module has appeared here with the FTDI driver installed now we need to go to the FTDI site and download FTProg it is the utility that we are going to use to program the EEPROM on the F2232 module. Now it's really important to understand that the reverse process is not easy and that this TTL board should be dedicated to program Curtis controllers. There is a way to get it back but I will not uh, discuss that in this video now download the FT Prog. the link is in the description straight to the file and run it the laptop is a bit noisy I hope that doesn't get too loud on the camera and there we go, now press the magnifying glass and as you can see it has detected uh, our module here is the original serial number and now in order to program the, F the EPROM you will have to download the template there is a link in the description so now in order to apply our downloaded XML file we go and right click on the device apply template from file and select the file that you have downloaded that will change as you can see the product description as a 1309 USB and that way Windows will install the driver for uh, Curtis programmer hit the program device now I have done mine I don't want to do a second one so 
I won't do that and it should say completed and you can again hit the scan uh, the magnifying glass in order to scan the devices and see that your uh, information has changed here I have connected the USB device after installing the program and it is detected as you can see by pressing right mouse click and select device manager we can see that here on the USB devices we do have a 1309 USB and on the COM ports 39 USB serial port at COM1 we can change that if we want by going to the port settings advanced and selecting a different COM port number now after installing our program we need to run it one time close it and go and edit the values in the registry for that we need to press reg edit and navigate to current user software Curtis instruments 1314 v4 settings and we need to create the IAL and SAL values if they are not already created and then change this part in order to create the values we press the right click button select string value and type the name let's run our application hit the connect button ah, ok so let's take a look I have my power supply connected set at 24 volts that this controller is operating and let's start it I have connected the light and we get a blinking error just remove that for the moment so we have our serial connection here and let's get back to the computer hit connect again and as we can see we have our uh, controllers details here in the parameters you get access on all those things and settings I won't get much into the detail of all these um, parameters but you can change many many things on the controller here we have a live monitor of our temperature voltage etc and finally we get a diagnostics which was my interest in all this and we can also see the history the error history of the controller for example here we have an active fault that is the brake on fault because there is no coil connected on the brake and if I connect a, a relay there we can hear straight away the um, controller relay firing and we can see the error is gone when we're done we can save our um, settings and disconnect from the controller that was all for today please hit the like button if you found this video interesting and consider subscribing for more thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye